hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if you join us for the first time welcome if you're stopping back by welcome back to my channel my name is Victoria. Today is day two of the inspired by challenge and today we're going to be doing uh, I look inspired by DJ I believe that is how our name is pronounced I was scrolling through Twitter and Instagram to get inspiration and I came across the look it's a little bit <sighs> it's a little bit complicated well in a way in a way but I'm here to challenge myself so let's see how it goes today and I hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also let me know what you think in the comment section down below let's get right into it okay so I've already done my eyeshadow I mean my eyebrows and I've already prepped my eyes I'm just going to dive right in and yeah we're going to be featuring the beauty treats palette today again today it's going to be like a blue it's going to be a bluish look i don't know what to call it yet but we'll see i would go so let's get right into it okay guys what i'm going to start off by doing is blending an orange shade into my brow bone slash my crease i'm just going to take this deep orange shade here and i'm just going to start blending so i'm using this shade right here oh this one doesn't look as orange on camera but trust me it is orange just going to pick that up because I also want the pigment to show, I'm just going to push that in my outer V, blend it into my crease. And I'm also going to try to take it all the way to my brow bone as well. So basically, I'm blending it from my inner corner all the way to the outer V and also taking it a little bit high up to the brow bone. So I'm going back and forth, back and forth to get, to make, make sure it's well blended out. It's looking like so, so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of more pigment to it to make it a little bit more out there. I'm going to place that in my outer V here and then blend that into my inner corner all the way up to my brow bone as well and i'm going to do the exact same thing to the other eye and yeah so after this i'm going to go into the beauty treats palette and i'm going to Oh, no way, guys, it's a cut crease. <laughs> it's a cut crease. So now that I've blended the eyeshadow into my eye, it looks like she cut a crease. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to cut my crease a little bit higher today. So yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut my crease using the concealer as usual. As per usual, you already know. I'm going to try to make my crease a little bit high because excuse me i don't really have a lot of lead space but i think i'm going to cut, cut my crease let's see how it goes i also don't want to mess it up so <laughs> i'm going to just take it from my inner corner as per usual and then cut the crease I'm going to take it a little bit higher. 
I want my crease to be a little bit higher so I want to try and see if I can do that My lid is not cooperating. <laughs> so I'm just going to add more concealer because I feel the need to add more. This look is definitely way more challenging than the other one I did yesterday. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I'd like to believe I've tried, but I think I want it a little bit higher. But that's quite higher than my usual cut crease would go already. And it looked like a full crease, it wasn't like an half crease, cut crease. So I still have a long way to go. With this, you just have to be very, very patient till it works out, basically. And also, a lot of practice does help. that I saw that okay well the way it looks <laughs> in the look I'm copying there's like blue on the inner and the outer V there's like a little blue here and then in the middle is a patch of glitter so I'm just going to take one of my flat brushes I'm going to spray it so that it picks up the shadow and I'm going to be using the darker blue from the yeah, the darker blue from the beauty treat, so this one right here. I'm just going to scratch the surface. Like I and I'd like to be by mentioning this. When you use a spoolie or something, you're able to pick up way more pigment and it comes off more pigmented. And because I've used this palette before, I know that it's not so pigmented and I really want the pigment to show off. So I just scratch the surface to get more pigment out of it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press the blue into the inner corner and the outer corner gently also guys if you use this method of using a spoolie when you when you of using a spoolie you do get a lot of fallout and i don't have a problem with fallout so it's fine should do for the outer for the inner part i'm going to put a little bit also on the outer v and see if i want to add more to the inner part
What do you guys think so far? I really like the way it's coming on. I'm actually surprised. I think we're just going to leave it like that. Okay, you know what guys? I think I'm going to add just a little bit of blue on the inner corner. I think I'm happy with that. And then the final part, I'm going to use a glitter shimmery shade. It looks like she used like a orangey goldy golden um, shimmer shade. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do the same. I'll be using this shimmer shade, this one. This one. And I'm just going to scratch off the surface so I can get pigment. Ooh. I feel like I'm hurting or damaging my shadow palette this way, but you got to do what you got to do. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to spray the brush so I can get maximum pigment. And I'm just going to place that in the middle where there is just concealer. And then I'm just going to blend it with the blue. And guys, that is the final look. I hope it looks nice on camera if it doesn't look crazy that is that is what it looks like guys i'm so impressed if i do say so i think after i have done my full face it will come together and to look good so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to go ahead and do the other eye and i'll be back with you guys in a bit so guys i am done with the other eye i definitely experienced a lot of more fallouts with this one i think i used a lot of a bit of more products and yeah it was a little bit challenging but i'm just going to go on and finish my face and i'll see you back guys in a bit so guys this is the final look that i was able to create i hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as i enjoyed filming it i thoroughly and truly enjoyed filming this particular one it was a bit challenging here and there but i'm glad we're here now and we're done i really really like the way it came out and it comes it comes close to the picture we were trying to imitate the picture we're trying to recreate I'm very glad actually. <laughs> if you guys would like me to do any other look that you like use this because you want me to do that look, you can just send me a DM on Instagram. I'll put link my I'll put my Instagram name on the screen right here, or you just put it in the comment section down below and I'll see what I can do about creating that. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed filming it and recreating it for you. Actually, let me show you guys a um, close-up of it. I'm pretty, I'm quite impressed. <laughs> yes! <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed filming every single bit of it. And I'll see you guys in my next one.